Hello all my instrumented peeps, I'm Tywin Hubbard and I'm back with another research update video for you guys. Uh, this time we're going to be covering a few articles that were published in March. One in early March and another one uh, in, later in March. Uh, and this, uh, these articles are actually going to be over the disease model of sleep apnea or obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, and they're actually going to be um, dealing with uh, things that are associated with it, whether it's injuries to your heart or kidneys. And so. Um, for us to go ahead and get started, I will go ahead and cover um, one article first, and then I will go into the next one, which we'll is cover the highlights, uh, and then uh, let you guys uh, uh, enjoy the articles uh, in the description. To begin, we'll cover uh, this one first, and so I'll go ahead and read um, the title of the article or study, uh, and then we'll move through some of the details. Hydrogen-oxygen mixture to improve cardiac dysfunction and myocardial pathological changes induced by intermittent hypoxia in rats. And so uh, for this uh, study, um, first they've obviously uh, you know discussed that um, intermittent or chronic intermittent hypoxia or sleep apnea uh, causes a decrease in oxygen within the blood, which can lead to an increase of uh, oxidative stress. And so uh, in this actual um, study, they're actually looking how uh, sleep ap apnea might cause a uh, heart injury uh, or injury to the heart and seeing how hydrogen can ameliorate that. And so what they end up doing uh, in this study, uh, they started off with rats and they uh, induce uh, chronic intermittent hypoxia um, to them, I think 20 times an hour for eight hours, uh, and they had the end. They had uh, the rats uh, exposed to hydrogen inhalation, um, 66% uh, H2, 33% uh, O2. This is also called Brown's gas, um, and they did that for two hours for 35 days uh, to see how hydrogen would ameliorate um, the negative effects of sleep apnea to the heart of these mice or these rats. And so uh, to give you a few uh, nuggets from the study, uh, it says our results showed that H2O2 mixture remarkably improved cardiac dysfunction uh, and myocardial fibrosis. Uh, also, it showed that hydrogen uh, inhalation or the H2O2 mixture uh, considerably decreased ROS levels and upregulated superoxide dismutase and glutathione levels, as well as downregulating NAD. NADPH um, oxidase and NOx2 expression in the heart of uh, these rats. So to conclude this part of the abstract, uh, they also state that uh, all the results demonstrated that H2O2 mi mixture significantly reduce ER stress or endoplastic reticulum stress and uh, apoptosis and that H2 might be an effective antioxidant against oxidative stress induced by chronic uh, intermittent hypoxia or sleep apnea. Um, and the conclusion of the study also stated this, uh, if it wants to stay up. Uh, in conclusion, our results revealed that H2O2 mixture uh, effectively improved cardiac dysfunction and structural disorder. Uh, and it says that uh, the, data, uh, the data shows evidence that H2O2 mixture or inhalation protects against cardiac injury induced by sleep apnea or chronic intermittent hypoxia. Uh, and so this is uh, uh, the first study we kind of went over and it's, it's really cool, um, obviously, uh, you know, being able to uh, protect from secondary issues um, like, you know, heart, uh, heart issues dealing with sleep apnea is a, is, is a major deal. Um, sleep apnea is a, is a, is a significant risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So um, that's the first article. We'll, we'll go ahead and cover the second one. So the second article uh, is also interesting and it's also dealing with the secondary issue um, with sleep apnea or a, a risk factor. Uh, this is also dealing with uh, kidney injury or kidney uh, disease um, that is obviously associated with sleep apnea. And so uh, this publication was actually published March 26th. The first article was published early in the month in March uh, 7th. The title of this study says, Hydrogen Gas Alleviates Chronic Intermittent Hypoxia-Induced Renal Injury Through Reduction of Iron Overload, uh, which is pretty fascinating. Now, hydrogen um, 
has the capability of doing this. And so let's kind of look at what they were able to uh, uh, discover within the study of how hydrogen is able to do this. Um, first thing that they state, uh, you know, in this abstract is that iron induced oxidative stress has been found to be a central player in the pathogenesis of kidney injury. Um, and that uh, it also states that they found that um, chronic uh, intermittent hypoxia or sleep apnea um, induces iron overload along with increased apoptosis and oxidative stress uh, to the kidneys. And so um, these are two obviously uh, big issues that need to be handled when it comes to sleep apnea and it's a secondary issue. So uh, let's look at another quote from this abstract that says, renal injury, apoptosis, and oxidative stress induced by chronic intermittent hypoxia or sleep apnea were strikingly attenuated in H2 treated rats. Um, now hydrogen in this uh, particular model not only uh, attenuated oxidative stress and the injury um, associated with uh, sleep apnea uh, and the kidneys, but also uh, the most fascinating part of it is that it was able to actually um, reduce uh, the iron overload uh, in the kidneys caused by the sleep apnea, uh, which is the reason for the injury. So um, here's a couple more quotes that kind of uh, explain this or explain or at least give a few nuggets of how hydrogen was able to do this. Uh, it says that uh, H2 effectively reduced iron uptake uh, as through decreasing the protein expression of both TFR and DMTI, which both of these are just proteins that are uh, sensitive to oxygen and, and uh, hypoxia, uh, and uh, and they actually uh, are part of uh, regulating uh, iron uh, and uptaking iron. And so hydrogen was actually able to um, decrease the expression of these proteins, which led to um, a lower accumulation of iron in the kidneys leading to this kidney injury and oxidative stress. And so uh, to kind of expound on that, or you know, later on uh, in the study, they, they kind of expound on this. Uh, it says that chronic intermittent hypoxia could promote renal TFR and DMTI expressions as they are oxygen responsive genes. And so <clears throat> uh, these proteins, like I said, uh, you know, they help to regulate iron uh, and uh, and they are um, sensitive to hypoxia and oxygen. And so hydrogen was able to downregulate the expression of these leading to <clears throat> leading to a, uh, a lower accumulation or iron overload in the kidneys. Inhalation of H2 could prevent renal injury induced by chronic intermittent hypoxia. This protection may be associated with the inhibition of iron overload in the renal epithelial cells, which was involved in the mechanism of oxidative stress mediated injury. Uh, and so hydrogen inhalation um, not only uh, benefited this model by decreasing oxidative stress, uh, it also goes on to say that it uh, was able to increase hemoinoxinase, which is an antioxidant enzyme. Um, it was able to upregulate that as well in the kidneys. Um, so it wasn't just by decreasing oxidative stress and upregulating um, um, our own endogenous antioxidants, uh, but hydrogen also was actually able to prevent iron overload in the kidneys, which is pretty uh, amazing that H2 was able to regulate these. So these are, uh, you know, two articles uh, that were published recently. Uh, hydrogen research just continues to fascinate me. Uh, and so I will be back again with more research updates for you guys. Uh, but until then, deuces.